Hello, welcome to Drobo. My name is Eric Pounds. By building on our Beyond Raid technology, which exists in every Drobo, I'd like to introduce you to our latest technology innovation called automated data aware tiering. It's the first and only truly automated way small and medium businesses can utilize solid state drives to accelerate their applications. SSDs inherently have higher performance characteristics than hard disk drives or HDDs. SSDs utilize flash, which is much faster for higher IOs or higher IOPS transactional workloads than hard disk drives are, which use spinning magnetic media, which often have higher seek times, higher latencies. The challenge is figuring out how to utilize these SSDs in your IT environment. While some storage arrays claim they support SSDs, they don't support SSDs in an automated fashion, which helps you integrate them into your environment. So here I have a traditional RAID array, and, I, and, and these red drives are my solid state drives, and these, these brown drives are my hard disk drives. So I can say, OK, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put these solid state drives in their, own, in their own RAID group. Let's call it A. And I may choose a RAID level like RAID 10 or something like this to ensure they're, they go as fast as they, as they can go. And then I may create another pool here uh, from, the, from the hard disk drives. And I'll say this is you know, RAID group B. But then, once I've created these, that's fine. So I now have high performance storage and I have high capacity storage. But when I start creating my volumes that the servers use, wh where do I choose where they go? I mean, I could say, OK, this server, you know, it, has, it needs high performance. So it can go to this, gr this group, and maybe this server can go to this group. But what if I have mixed workloads within a single volume? So what if I have a volume that needs a lot of capacity, but it has some critical data that needs to be accelerated? You don't have the option as an IT administrator to make that decision, because you have to make an either or. Do I want high performance or do I want capacity? It makes it very challenging to decide where to point my data, and sometimes it makes it impossible to do this and integrate in this new high performance uh, type of storage. A Drobo works a little bit differently. A Drobo is a single pool of storage. So instead of with a traditional array, you pool your storage accordingly. In a Drobo, all drives exist in one common pool. The same goes for SSDs. So when I insert SSDs, and here I have, I have three of them here, Drobo is very efficient at utilizing the SSDs, so you don't need to buy as many. I integrate in the SSDs right alongside the hard disk drives, and what happens is two tiers are created within this common pool. So I'll have, I'll have one tier created here for the SSDs, and another tier created for the hard disk drives. It's one pool, it's just Drobo is going to treat them a little bit differently. So when these tiers are created, the tier for the SSDs is called the transactional tier. And the tier for the hard disk drives, we're calling it the bulk tier. Now this happens, this seriously happens automatically. You put in the SSDs, you put in the hard disk drives, and the tier is automatically created. So now, as you create your volumes, you create your volumes on the common pool. So if I create a volume here, I can create a volume here. You don't have to decide what drives they're on. And so as data is written from the servers to these volumes, the data is going to be looked at and routed accordingly. So if the data is uh, transactional in nature, sm you know, a lot of smaller IOs, random IOs in nature, you know, ty types of data patterns that can take advantage of high performance disk, that data, so let's say this is hot data, will automatically be placed on the SSDs. Data that is streaming in nature, bigger IOs, more sequential IOs, will automatically go onto the, into the bulk tier or onto the hard disk drives. And all of this happens automatically. So there's, there's no knobs, no switches that you as the administrator have to do to be able to introduce these SSDs and start accelerating uh, your transactional workloads. But a few things, ha things may change over time. You may have data that happens that lives on the bulk tier that may start being accessed very frequently or get hot. That hot data, if it, if it exists over in the bulk tier, eventually will be migrated over into the transactional tier. The same happens for data that becomes cold. If you have data on the transactional tier that's rarely accessed, there's no reason to take up capacity on the higher, on the often smaller but higher performance drives. So that data will be migrated off into the bulk tier to make room for more transactional data to be accelerated. So everything the way, everything the way that the Drobo works with automated data or tiering is very, very automatic.
This technology is first available in the Drobo B1200i, our 12-bay iSCSI storage array. With Drobo, it's very easy to use, it's very affordable, and it really is the first time SSDs are usable by small and medium business IT. To learn more, please visit drobo.com. You can click on the How It Works section of our website, and you can learn more about automated data aware tiering and other innovative Drobo technologies.